So it's been a little while since I've recorded a video. Figured I'd get one out. Uh, I've been working on this. This Econo plate will hopefully be my new bottle cap bottle opener fixture plate. Uh, if you look a couple of videos back, you'll see me milling one of these. This is my bottle cap bottle opener. Uh, up until this point, I've only milled one at a time. And uh, I'd like to start milling a lot more at a time. I've uh, already milled a prototype of the fixture. And basically, I just want to repeat that prototype design 21 times on this new fixture plate. This fixture will actually be for milling the tops of the bottle caps. The bottoms will still be milled just in the vise. I might make, make a fixture in the future sometime, but for the moment, I'm just putting these 10 inch by 3 inch pieces in the vise and uh, milling them like this. The fixture will hold, like I said, 21, so in the end I'll be holding ball caps kind of in this fashion, but across the whole plate. Unlike uh, the old fixture plates I made, this one I'll be able to load without having to remove it from the vise. Should save me a lot of time. I have the uh, fixed, I mean the prototype here. Uh, it's basically a pneumatic cylinder. Uh, the cylinder raises and lowers this set of jaws here. I have a fixed jaw and a movable jaw. A movable jaws on a little spring. So when I want to load a bottle cap, I just take the bottle cap bottom, the unfinished bottom, and just snap it on by pressing the movable jaw a little bit. Like that. That's all it takes to, to uh, essentially load it on. I guess it's not totally done. Um, then what I'll have to do is press it down a little bit by hand and align it with the dowel pins that I have in there. And then I'll activate a foot switch which will put some air into the top of the cylinder and lock the bottle cap down onto the fixture. Um, at that point the machine can come in and mill it and then uh, when it's done I'll apply air to the other side of the cylinder which uh, releases the bottle cap and I'll just have to come and uh, you know do the reverse of putting it on to get the bottle cap off Oops. just like that and I'll have a finished bottle cap on the top I uh, thought I'd show it working a couple times before I take it apart here um, so like I said, I just put air in through this side to clamp it down and this side to release it. And uh, we'll go back and forth. I can't do it too quick manually here. But uh, this jaw just goes up and down. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool when all 21 are going at the same time. I uh, forgot to mention, so I would like this to be the first in a series of videos where I show milling the remainder of this uh, large fixture plate. Uh, I'd like to get into some solid works and some HS HSM works, uh, as well as just showing the actual machine. If you guys have any uh, questions or would like me to focus more on any specific part of it, uh, please put a comment down below. Uh, I'm sure if it's uh, relevant, I'll try to address it as best I can. My plan at the moment is to make at least at least two more videos. Uh, one showing the milling of the two jaws and one showing the uh, milling of the base. Um, I may have up to five more videos, oh, maybe a few more than that even. We'll see. Uh, of the other parts, I'd say there's basically five main parts of this. And I'll kind of talk about them as I uh, take this apart, I suppose. All right, this part I'm calling the seal plate. It's uh, pretty simple. Not likely I'll make a video on this.
Uh, basically, all it does is hold this O-ring in. Okay, uh, this is the piston. I may get to this. Uh, there's not a whole lot to this, really. It's round. Uh, the only thing that might be worthy of a video is that I uh, cut this gland along the edge of it. Uh, these are the two jaws. I will definitely make a video showing this. I want to basically just redraw it in SolidWorks and then cam it in HSM Works. Uh, you know, maybe it'll be helpful to somebody. We'll see. Uh, these are extremely boring. Uh, I don't think I'll get this on video, but uh, maybe. Uh, they're just little uh, short sections of um, 12L14 uh, steel. And they're just 3 eighths in diameter with a number 10 screw clearance hole through, uh, drilled through them. And all they do is connect the piston to the jaws on top, kind of like that. That's kind of nice how accurate and I have close tolerance I made this piston. It's like barely any smaller in there. Uh, so the base is definitely the main event. Uh, I plan to mill this, you know, as soon as I can make a, uh, as soon as I can get this video out and have it be half decent, really. Uh, so there's a cylinder that obviously the piston rides up and down in, and then two holes that allow these two shafts to go through. Um, and then there's the uh, gland for the o-ring on top. The top of it, uh, you pretty much saw it earlier, but it just uh, holds the bottle cap squarely, prevents it from, I mean securely, prevents it from moving around, and also it locates it accurately so that uh, when I machine the top half, I don't get a, a little seam between the top and bottom halves. Oh, uh, one quick thing. So when I was uh, making this, I basically milled this entire base and got it finished. And then I drilled this hole in the what's uh, what's in the front of this. I think in the final version it's going to be in the back. Um, I drilled this hole, thread milled a one eighth inch NPT, uh, you know, I guess hole in there, tapped hole, and uh, I was working great. I tested it, everything was great, and then I decided that I would chamfer it. And before I chamfered it, I well, I didn't accidentally do it, but I <laughs> extended my chamfering mill in its tool holder by about six millimeters, but I forgot to remeasure the tool. So when I went to chamfer it, instead of basically just making this hole a little prettier, it plowed into it and made it uh, much bigger than it was supposed to be. And you can actually kind of see uh, a little you know, divot where uh, you know there's a very thin wall of aluminum right there. So in the final version there'll be a, an air fitting screwed in here just like this. Um, but for this I just stuck the tube in there and filled the rest of it with epoxy and put this little washer on there to try to keep it all together. It seems to be working okay. I've milled uh, five bottle caps using this actual fixture and it uh, it seems to work. So I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, but, you know, there'll, there'll be no epoxy on the final version. Alright, I think I'll end this video here. Uh, like I said, if you have any comments or places where you'd like me to pay extra attention, let me know. Um, this isn't the 100% final design. I'm going to change this piston a tiny bit. Uh, actually, I can't think of any other changes, but there might be a, little, a couple other changes here and there. Um, 
See you in the next one.